Uh, that's no big deal. I don't really follow the laws anyways. What's up everyone, it's Caleb Becker. Welcome back to the channel. We have a big day ahead of us. We're gonna look at a 2021 Polaris Razor XP at Coparts. I got my vest, let's go. We have a bit of a drive ahead of us. Should be there in two hours and seven minutes, but uh, we can make it two hours flat. I was just wondering why it was so hot in my car. Turns out I had the heat on. Dirt to dirt. Oh, this is gonna be a long trip. We have to make a quick stop. Can I get a large hazelnut iced coffee? Just the first one, please. Thank you. McDonald's. I'll fill you in on a little McDonald's hack. I did it three days in a row. Uh, uh, not intentionally. My phone wasn't working. Must have not have paid my phone bill. I order a large. I get to the first window and I change it. By the time I get to the second window, they already have it made. I'm just gonna give you a large. Perfectly fine with me, ma'am. We got the 5-0 lurking. This is my first time dealing with Coparts. First off, the website, I already needed help on it. Dirt to dirt. But I do have experience with like salvage title and art title cars. This car I currently drive. 2016 Chevy Sonic. Best money I've ever spent. Bought this car three years ago. It's 2016. 10,000 miles on it for $6,000. Should I race the cop? the GPS yet. I should probably tune in to see where the hell we are. Yeah, we're a little off course. Quick little pissed off at Sheets. If you're from the East Coast, you already know. We're near Pittsburgh right now. Uh, we got about 30 minutes left. I probably should have left a little earlier. The roads are so crowded right now. Listen to the sound my air conditioner makes. It's like hissing at me. It only does that when I'm not moving. If you guys know what that problem is, please let me know. It is so damn annoying. I guess there's no such thing as tickets anymore. Dirt to dirt. I look dumb as hell hitting that button though. I think they said it's all electronic now, so they're probably gonna take a picture of my car and send me the bill in the mail. Or it's free, I don't know. ugly that car is. Oh wait, I drive the same one. Dirt to dirt. Oh, bed dusty, damn. We are here at Coparts. Got my vest, let's go check it out. They have this weird thing where you have to register online to even talk to them in person. Tis the season, everybody's gonna be looking for these now. It's the only bad thing. <laughs> driving down there i saw this time pizza and i about wrecked my damn car i like forgot to eat today it's like 5 26 p.m it says we're open let's go see what they got oh look at that that's breakfast lunch and dinner all in one right there honestly haven't had pizza in like months that ranch right there 10 out of 10 for sure if you're in whatever town i'm in i, I don't even know what state i'm in right now but if you're in this place go to this place dirt to dirt mm. Mm. that's enough i'm putting this away just kidding. This hits the spot. I forgot to get a drink. Oh well, I'll just die. We're home. That was, that was far. That was like over four hours of driving to get out and look at a razor for two minutes. Wow. Now let's go see what the bid is up to. It's time for a damn drink. Here's the razor we looked at today and it's sitting at $13,600. Not gonna lie, that's getting a little close to my budget. I didn't really wanna spend over $14,000 because there's a point where it's almost better to just go buy a brand new one because at the end of the day, this one still has a salvage title. Not that it matters that much for side-by-sides. You know, cars and stuff, it's a whole process, enhanced inspection, all that, to be able to even drive it on the road. This one, as long as I fix it, I probably won't be able to register it without a rebuild title. 
but uh, that's no big deal. I don't really follow the laws anyways. I'm just kidding. I'm not riding any major trail systems. I'm pretty much just riding on my own property. It's time for my mountain bike ride. Oh, I got a call. You can have all the money in the world, but if you're not in good health, it really don't mean much. If you haven't saw my new bike yet, it's a 2020 Stump Jumper Alloy Comp 29er. So much for that mountain bike ride. Uh, we have a flat tire. No, that's actually annoying. That's annoying. I'm gonna try to get this figured out before it gets dark. That's a wrap for today's video. Make sure you tune in for the next video to see if I won the Razor. See you guys next time.